Hello to everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover Euro versus US dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the Euro versus US dollar first. And this is the hourly time frame and we can see here that um, we had a breakout of this uh, our most recent rising trend line. You can also see that the market uh, didn't have power to sustain above this 1.0965 level. So we got a downside breakout. Uh, prior to this downside breakout, we had some um, tight consolidation overnight during the Asia session. And there is a chance, uh, so most likely scenario is that we can trade towards this <clears throat> main rising trend line, which, which is uh, coming from this area here and it's not uh, retested so um, let's say the area around 1.0925 there is also this uh, rising trend line uh, from this perspective which is around uh, I will say 1.0910 so that pullback at least to revisit those rising trend lines might be in the play in case of the some bigger uh, upside movement and if we can retake a 1.1 level uh, 1.1005 or 1.1010 um, and if the market can hold above there is a chance for the higher prices in the next reference points and the next reference points are set at 1.1040 and 1.1065 this is the cluster from this area here Uh, speaking of the gold market, we can see the uh, contraction consolidation. We're building more like a symmetrical triangle. So uh, we can see here uh, contraction in terms of the um, short term upside uh, trend is active. Uh, we have we can place some um, most recent rising trend lines and we can place some main rising trend lines of the low. So we can see here that market uh, didn't still uh, revisit uh, this um, main rising trend line and there is a chance for the lower prices we can also project this to this area we can see that um, market is around that area and similar to my pre previous forecast so and the idea behind this is that there is a downside breakout with a hole below there is a chance for a, a pullback towards this rising trend line maybe even to the recent swing high so the area around 2030 or even uh, 2020 in case of the upside breakout and hold above and another uh, upside breakout there is a potential for retest of 2070 2075 which is the key um, I will say multi-year resistance for the gold the 2070 2075 area now speaking of the crude oil we finally got a breakout of this uh, symmetrical triangle that um, we were basically building this for um, days in the background and uh, we had a breakout uh, yesterday and the retest around the 75.85 and a strong rejection so and this is a very positive uh, sign for the further high prices on the crude oil um, we can place also some uh, recent rising trend lines market is trading away uh, prices away of the, of the most recent trend line but um, overall the ideas for market to potentially retest 81 mark and if there is even more power than to go into this area around 8250 mark 8260 mark so that is a more likely scenario if there is a downside movement i would like to see the breakdown into this pin bar again 76 area and that can be a potential um, confirmation of the fake breakout of this <coughs> triangle but for now buyers are in control and markets building higher highs so um, there is a potential for us for this uh, maybe on the news or something for a pullback to revisit this trend line and then to work for higher so uh, pay attention to this rising trend line but overall those are the scenarios that i'm watching <clears throat> and speaking of the bitcoin we can see that we don't have a break and, and hold above this key resistance at uh, 38,500 this is a pretty significant resistance so um, we still don't have a major breakout in fact we actually had some double top and more sellers are coming at this point so there is a chance for this rotation back towards this rising trend line the lower um, 
a rising trend line and the potential retest of 37,000 mark, maybe even to try to attack a lows at 35,600 or 35,000 mark. Uh, now, if there will be stronger buying, uh, if we can trade above 38,700 and hold above, then there is a chance for a retest of 39 or 40,000 mark. So those are the scenarios that I'm watching. And that will be all for this video update, guys. I hope that uh, you did enjoy. I have a good trading day and speak to you from tomorrow morning.